Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on December the 29th, 2016. The title of the message is, I am against the wicked. And the Lord Jesus began, My bride, my love, do not let the despair of this world cloud your eyes from seeing me. Yes, things are going to get worse and worse, but once in a while, Showers of blessings will rain down on individuals and families. The nations have cast their lot against me and against my people, and by this I mean both Israel and my church. They are obstinate in their stance against me, therefore my hand will be against them. But I will be merciful to those who come after me with all their heart, regardless of who they are or where they are from. My children, the leaders of this world have bound themselves to evil, wishing to subjugate others to their authority and power. Their greed has reached a tipping point to where they think they are the only ones who deserve to exist in this world. They have drawn up plans to get rid of the weak, the sick, the old, and those they consider inferior. Unfortunately, the ones they consider the most inferior are my children and Israel. They have cast lots and decided that they deserve to live, while others must die. I am against them. I am sickened by the wickedness in their hearts. They are playing a very dangerous game. Even I, I am God, yet I consider no man or no group of people as inferior. I am the one who gave life, and therefore only I have the right to take it away. I will not hold anyone blameless who spills innocent blood. Much innocent blood has been spilled, and I am tired of their constant cry for justice. My patience wears thin every time I hear their cry for justice, and indeed they will be given justice. He who spills innocent blood and does not repent, his blood shall be spilled, and his end is in Gehenna. I will require a full account of your atrocities, O man. There is nothing hidden from me. I see all that you do, and unless you repent, you will not receive mercy on the day of judgment. In fact, the end of the unrepentant is sure, set in stone, a fiery pit in the place of the damned. I hear you complaining, saying, Why does he always mention hell? I have to my child. Look around you. How many people that you know believe in hell? Many do not believe in me and even more do not believe in hell. It is my duty to warn them that hell is a real place from which there is no escape after death. Yes, I have brought back some from hell to warn you of the reality of that place. But have you listened to them? No, you scorn them and refuse to believe because you want to justify living in continued sin. For this reason, I will continue warning about the reality and dangers of hell. Perhaps a few will listen and escape it by repenting before they die. Even if only one soul listens, it is worth it to me. Therefore, do not tell me to be quiet about hell. I will not be silent. Too many souls, by the millions, are falling into it. I am tired of seeing souls perish. Therefore, I am determined to warn them until the day the earth is cleansed by fire. Then it will be too late. You will never raise your voice and say you were never warned. You will find yourself burning, alone, in severe pain, being tortured by demons and eaten alive by worms that do not die. On that day, you will remember that I visited you this day through this video or website and you did not listen. Do not ignore my voice. Repent while there is still time. For a time comes when no man will be able to repent, and even if they do, they will not be heard. The gates of mercy will be shut to them forever and ever. Come now into my arms. I am here to forgive you. I love you. Listen and come to me. I am here for your sake. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.